The next panel that I want to show you is the settings panel or the generator settings. The generator settings are less used since once you set them you rarely want to change them. The search best option allows you to select criteria by which the strategy the strategies will be rated and so the generator will know if uh, the new strategy that it discovered is better than the previous one. For example, if you select net balance, uh, if uh, the next strategy that is created has better balance, it will be shown here in the, in the generator. It is interesting to say about the win-loss ratio. This should be the ratio between winning and losing deals, but in practice it is the ratio between the number of winning and the number of all deals. For example, if you have, uh, if you have uh, 5 wins and 3 losses, the ratio will be 5 to 8. Therefore, the win-loss uh, ratio is measured in values between 0 and 1 where 1 is uh, when the strategy has only winning deals. It is important to know that when you choose these parameters, uh, this can be a two-edged knife, since a strategy can have a win-loss ratio of 1 even, it, even if it made a single trade. So in the acceptance criteria, we have a predefined, let me show you here. We have pretty predefined that uh, any accepted strategy should have a minimum of 100 trades. This guarantees that uh, you don't get a strategy, you don't get a strategy with win loss ratio of 1 and it traded only once. So you should be aware what what the option here means when you select it. If you do not just leave it at net balance. The working time in minutes is not related in any way to the generation process. It only means that the generator will work for that amount of time and you can See here you can change it to 1 minute or to 10,000 minutes and to leave the generator work overnight or without your attention and then go and check what it created for you. The generator's algorithm lies in creating random strategies and checking if they are better than the last strategy that, it, that was created and if the strategy fits the acceptance criteria here. So if you run, it doesn't matter if you run the generator one minute or 10,000 minutes, only if you, if you run the generator it will create more strategies and you get the chance to create a better strategy over time. We do not advise you to change this option to be low five minutes because the gener generator will not, in most cases, the generator will not be able to find many strategies for this short amount of time. If you set a very high acceptance criteria from the control panel, you can also leave the generator to wo work for longer times. Over time, when working with the generator, you will find the settings that suit your own style and expectations. If you let the generator work long enough, it will find uh, curve fitting strategies. This means the strategies will adapt itself to the market data. But when the strategy ad adapts too well to the market data, it means that when new data arrives, the strategy will break very easily. The Generator and Forest Strategy Builder uses a smarter way to generate strategies than the old Forest Strategy Builder versions. It uses statistical data and artificial intelligence 
to learn from the profitable strategies it creates to create even better strategies. You can enable and disable from here this artificial intelligence learning. You can also let the generator optimize the strategy, but this optimization is not like uh, the optimization in, in this optimizer here. This is a different kind of the optimization. If you leave this option enabled, the generator will just try to use other values and settings from the indicators in the strategies to see it if it can make it a bit better. If uh, after the optimization completes and the strategy still passes the acceptance criteria and it is better than the old one from by this criteria search best here, it will be added to the collection uh, and instead it will be added at the top of the collection and we will speak about collections a, a little bit later. You can see about collections more in the menu. If you want to fully optimize your strategy, you can also uh, always use the optimizer. Normalizing the strategy, it is uh, not meant to make the strategy more profitable, but it might help. Here is how it works. If you have a strategy with free opening logic conditions, the generator will check if when the generator removes one of those uh, logic conditions, it will see if the strategy is still profitable. And if the strategy is still profitable, this generator can be removed. And this will allow the strategy to be less curve fitting. So uh, the, the less indicators you have, the less uh, curve fitted is the strategy. Another thing that the normalizing does is to try to move the indicator's parameters as close to the default values as possible. For example, the moving average default value is 14. And if the moving average in the strategy is 50, this is very far from the default value and the generator will try to bring this value as close as possible to the default value without breaking the strategy. So it must keep its profits. This makes, uh, on one side, this makes the strategy prettier by removing useless conditions. And when the strategy has indicators and options that are more widely used, so standard values, in other words, this lowers the chance that the strategy will get over-optimized. The number of parallel threads here you can say uh, you can set a number between 1 and 64 since most computers today have at least two cores we have set the default default value to 2 to more fully utilize your cpu you can set this field to a higher number we advise you to experiment with these options to uh, this option to see what setting brings the best performance out of your pc in our opinion, 2 to 4 threads is usually a good choice for most PCs if you are using one generator at a time. This number applies only to the currently selected generator, so if you are running more than one of them simultaneously, we do not advise you to raise this number since the total number of threads might exceed the number of cores in your machine which can lead to slowing the process down instead of making it faster. As well as the in the common options panel, you have the OK, the cancel and the reset all buttons. Click OK to save the settings.